So what I'm going to do to begin with, because everybody's brain, as I mentioned earlier, is very different, it's unique, what we're going to do is record a neutral state, which is essentially a baseline recording of Marvin's brain, which there's a lot of, so we're just doing that now. <laughs> And he doesn't have to do anything in particular. He just has to be himself and very comfortable and relaxed um, while we're just taking a sample of um, his brain waves as he's sitting here for 30 seconds. And this, um, in an application like a game context or any sort of internet browser, it could happen while the application's loading because the subject or the, the user doesn't really have to do anything in particular. I hate being comfortable because it's <laughs> terribly boring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that that's recorded, we're going to record a first reading of Marvin thinking about rotating this cube anti-clockwise. And what I'd like you to do is just to maintain a constant thought of rotating that cube clockwise. And... Um, what you want to do is just not stop and start, just continue to think that thought. Okay, it's green. So I'll start the training. The first time, nothing will happen because it has no idea how you think about rotating it anti-clockwise, and it will run for six seconds. So you can do that now. Okay, we'll accept that. Now you can try to think about rotating, but you, you, if it doesn't work, we can give it another training because it's only had six seconds to observe your brain waves. Okay, do you want to give it one more shot? Sure. <laughs> okay. Stage fight also has a little bit to play, but two, one uh, six second training is not really quite adequate, so one more. So here we go, so you're starting to respond to him. <laughs> yeah, <babe. laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> Still on, yep. Do you want to do one more training so that it's a little bit more responsive to you? Sure. It stopped listening. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. Can you try the opposite direction? I'm trying the opposite direction. <laughs> He's only tried it for this direction. He'll have to show it what it looks like for the opposite direction. Can you train it for I'm sorry? Can you train it for we certainly can. But what I'd like to do is show you something else, which is an entirely new category of detections that we just added this year. Um, and this action... <laughs> thank you, Marvin. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, this action is disappear. And... The interesting thing about this action is that it's just an idea. It's a, it, there's, not, there's no metaphors for it in the physical world. You know, with anti-rotating an object, you have some reference point. But with disappear, it's just an idea. And we wanted to see if we could create an idea in someone's mind and then be able to use that as a command to trigger this. So this is the first detection of its kind, disappear. So we're going to give this a go. Okay. Okay. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, do you have both on now? I have the disappear on now. Okay. <laughs> that was one attempt at brain thinking. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Can you put both on and see if I can? I can put both on, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll stop that and go. 
Wow. <laughs> so that's with several minutes of training in a very um, t intense sort of, you know, environment. If um, you had some time to play with the technology in the comfort of your home, um, in, in an application like a game, which is our very first target market and audience, um, hopefully you'll have a far more compelling experience with, you know, 12 hours of play. So with that, I'm going to switch to a... Um, thank you. Thanks, Marvin. Thank you. The future is going to be fun. If it's not, why bother going? The intelligent future will have many new ways to play. Smarter technology will blur the line between what is real and what is not. New immersive games require new ways to play them. Future gamers won't need a joystick or a paddle. They'll interact with their games directly from their brains using devices like the Epic headset from Emotive. Our whole interaction with the virtual world is going to be far more natural. We'll be able to use our brain um, and our facial expressions and our emotional experiences to really experience content in entirely new ways. And what we've created is a brain-computer interface that really transforms the way that humans interact with machines. The Emotive Epic wireless headset has 16 independent sensors that pick up electrical brain signals on the surface of the scalp. We identify um, a signature for a particular thought or a particular emotion and then in real time we classify those brain patterns. So when you think it, it happens on the screen. You think push, the object propels forward. So now my master's showing me how to pull using that tree. And then he'll ask me to focus all my thoughts on pulling that tree towards me. There are 13 individual detections. Push, pull, lift, drop, left, right, and then rotation in six different axes in a 3D environment. You can even visualize an object disappearing, and it will. But the headset is more than just a brain-powered joystick. It allows the game to detect whether or not you're actually having fun. It observes your experiences, excitement versus calmness, emotion, tension, frustration, engagement. There are these mischievous spirit wisps that instead of pressing a button, I can scare away just by looking fierce. So, arr, arr. And you can notice by the sky color that I enjoy that part. So when it comes to future game playing, keep an open mind. We're really only at the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's possible. So will all this innovation in virtual reality gaming spell the end of a good old-fashioned night out at the movies? So uh, I'll just leave you with... Uh, this is the... What you saw on Marvin was a um, beta version of the headset. This here is from Inc. Magazine, the December issue, which is out now, um, of the consumer headset, which will be out in several months. Thank you very much.